he has been how do I say this without being rude he has been caressed a lot in a certain area also his nose his mouth people kiss him. right guys we've walked up another bit and I've seen this beautiful one Eb Rard family the stained glass windows there are beautiful one on the other side can't really see in the, the glass there it's quite dirty There's grave visitations. Say hello. Oh no. Little Asian girl, I think she's. Oh, look at So people have left some stones here on her grave. Oh. Kelly, her name is. Kelly. How Wong. beautiful. Is you warm? Just three years of age. Sad, isn't it? Another one I've just spotted. Wow, how beautiful is that? And this one, strangely enough, has her birth year, but not her death date. So I presume this lady is still alive. And this would be the photo of her that they have sculpted her in marble. So I'm not going to show her date of birth as I said, there is no date of that. How amazing. Wow. That is extraordinary. Another beautiful memorial here. Look at the colour of her. She stands out. Wow. And just down from there, I've just noticed this, our man, artiste, 1928 to 2005, looks like it's a cello, 
Armand Pierre Armand, sculptor. Another one I've spotted. It's an artist's palette in the middle of a torso. Christiane Nitzel, I think it is, 1958 to 2011. <laughs> This is Chopin. Very visible grave. Frédéric Chopin. Look what we just found here. France. See that. Nineteen thirty two to twenty twelve. This tomb here is known as Peekaboo, and I'll show you why. George Rodenbach, 1898. Right guys, so the video, I'm try stopping and starting it basically because it is so warm that my phone keeps shutting down. Just noticed this one. There's two effigies inside. With gargoyles, two busts of ladies. But if I can try and show you, yes, there, one side of it. And maybe I go this side.
ticky. 1944 to 2004. Quite unusual. Okay guys, I took the mic off. Everything is um, being affected by the heat, the gimbal, the phone, the microphone, and myself and GV. We're all, we're all exhausted from the heat. Um, but we're going to keep going. We have a few more to find. Um, I knew Pierre Le Chase was huge, but never in my wildest dreams would I have thought it was this big. So, usually where you see people in a crowd, it means it's somebody famous. So we might have a look. Gilbert, 1927 to 2001. <laughs> French singer. French singer. French. Very famous French singer. You just heard it yourself. <laughs> Beautiful photos there. Oh, look at that. Madame Robert Calvé. Victim de la Liberation de Paris. 19, oops, 1926 to 1944. Victim, we'll have to look her up. La victim de, victim de la Liberation de Paris. Probably during the war, Second World War. When Maybe. Germany invaded France. Very beautiful lady and a beautiful statue. So the tomb I want to show you was very popular um, by the ladies, plenty, many ladies visiting, and I'll show you why. Right, I have to wait because there was women in here, would you believe? Here he is, Victor Noir. And you might notice that um, 
he has been, how do I say this without being rude? He has been caressed a lot in a certain area. Also, his nose, his mouth, people kiss him and caress this area. So Victor Noir was a journalist and he was killed by Prince Pierre Bonaparte, nephew of Napoleon and cousin of Emperor Napoleon III. A dispute between two newspapers, including the one where Noir worked, escalated and led to an altercation, when ended with the prince calling Noir and his colleagues menials, slapping Noir's face and then shooting him dead. When a court acquitted the Prince of Murder, an uproar, including violent demonstrations, took place. Nine months later, the Emperor's unpopular regime was overthrown during the Franco-Prussian War. Sculptor Jules Dalou created the realistic life-size bronze sculpture of Noir to appear as though he had just fallen in the street. The slight bulge in his trousers um, has made Noir's grave one of the most popular in the cemetery due to a legend that rubbing it will provide fertility benefits. They also kiss his mouth, but you can see the, the wear and tear um, in the bulge. So. There you go. Very visited grave right there. Oh, let's have a look in here. I keep getting lost. It is uh, really, really hard to find anyone um, using even find a grave. Really, really hard. Wow, look at this. That is brilliant. A Terry. The Ami, the admirators. So I'm assuming that's admirers. Isn't that so cool? To me, actually, behind him looks like a grill of a, a tractor or the radiator part, you know. But he's wearing. Uh, like a helmet with goggles and that, that's definitely a steering wheel so another one guys we'll have to try and look up the heat is um, probably around 28-29 degrees they are saying that the weather is to change tonight um, there's actually weather warnings Here's the name, Auguste Blanc-Oui. Wow. The detail, amazing.
So we've been looking for Oscar Wilde for a long time. Grey Visitations found Jim Morrison and we think Oscar Wilde is down here. This gentleman is looking straight at me. The Leglis family, Henry Leglis, 1888. Young love. Oh wow. See this is what keeps happening. I hope you can hear me now because there's a bit of a breeze. Hanzu, I think, is the family name here. Beautiful lady on a throne. Wow. Standing guard protecting the mausoleum. Gosh, look at her. Wow. And what is she guarding? Wow.
don't know whether you can see that, but to the left of the floor, there's a big drop. Amazing. Right, I'm just on my way down to show you Oscar Wilde and I've just seen this. This is amazing. Of a boy with his dog. Two boys on either side and up atop then there's a, a bust of a man. Just look at that though. Amazing. Family Albane it looks like. So here we are. Oscar Wilde. And you can see there's lots of kisses, red lipstick all over the glass. They actually put the glass up to stop people from kissing the stone itself. So they now come and kiss the glass. The door. I love you. So, as we know, Oscar Wilde was an author. A writer and came from Dublin and he actually went to Trinity College in Dublin and obtained a scholarship and won the Berkeley Gold Medal and I'll have to leave a rock of some description or a stone all his information is there lots of kisses in fact don't worry I'll pick them up so I found a nice rock and like everybody does when they come to see Oscar we have to leave him a stone as a mark of respect for a great man. And you can just see there's a lock here, so they come in and obviously clean out after a while. But that is the actual door into his grave. So Oscar Wilde has taken us probably five hours to find him. Ages. About five hours. And there he is, 
all the way at the back up here in the chase. We have a beautiful stained glass in here. Violet, 1900 to 1984, so great age. And I think it's the Darnes family and the Benistan family in here. So we have walked, I'm going to actually see what steps we have walked today. Oh, thousands. We came here early enough, um, yeah. half 10, 11. And you really do need hours here. You need two days, I would say. Without a, a tour guide, you know, you really need a long yeah. time here. I have a beautiful, I think he's a pelican up ahead, um, monument. Uh, yeah, so... There is guided tours here. We got off the metro this morning. We were here for hours and hours and hours. We've looked for so many famous people and haven't found them. I was looking for the famous mime artist. Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau, whoops. And even with Find the Grave, we were just going around in circles. That's quite unusual there. Um, but we found lots on the way. I'm not sure whether this will be, gosh, look at this one, two parts or one part. Um, I really want to show you what we found today. This one is not great to show you, but her whole face, she's hiding her whole face in her hand. She's weeping. Beautiful. And you know, it's not all about the famous people. We were happy to find who we found. Uh, Jim Morrison will be on Grave Visitations channel. We've both found Oscar Wilde now. And we failed with a few of them, unfortunately. We are exhausted. This place just keeps on going. When you think you have seen it all, there's so much more. There is a bit of a breeze blowing now, so forgive me. I hope it doesn't affect the audio too much. Look at that. Look at the dress. It's like knee-length pants. The boots, the hairstyle, look at that. And beside this little boy, we have his companion, a dog. Right guys, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video please, it helps a lot. Uh, that's the end of this video at least, there will probably be more, so keep an eye out. But from me, Serenity Sue here in Paris, a Pierre Le Chase, take care, God bless, and I'll talk to you all again soon.